Good morning, this is morning prayer for Monday, January the 31st. It's year one, Epiphany four, and week four of the Psalm cycle. The scriptures for this service, Psalms 56 and 57. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 17 to 23. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia. Alleluia. In God I trust, I shall not fear. Alleluia. Psalms 56 and 57. Have mercy on me, God. Foes crush me. They fight me all day long and oppress me. My foes crush me all day long, for many fight proudly against me. When I fear, I will trust in you. In God whose word I praise, in God I trust I shall not fear, what can mere mortals do to me? All day long they distort my words, all their thought is to harm me. They band together in an ambush and track me down and seek my life. Repay them God for their crimes and in your anger cast down the peoples. You have kept an account of my wanderings, you have kept a record of my tears. Are they not written in your book? And then my foes will be put to flight on the day I call to you. This I know that you are on my side, in you whose word I praise. In God I trust, I shall not fear. What can mere mortals do to me? I am bound by the vows I have made you. O oh God, I will offer you praise, for you rescued my soul from the depth and you kept my feet from stumbling, that I may walk in your presence and enjoy the light of the living. Have mercy on me, God have mercy, for in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to you the Most High, to you who have always been my help. May you send from heaven and save me and shame those who assail me. O oh God, send your truth and your love. My soul lies down among lions who would devour us one and all. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. <coughs> o oh God, rise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps, my soul was bowed down, they dug a pit in my path, but they fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake my soul, awake lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. <clears throat> I thank you among the peoples, among the nations I praise you, for your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O oh God, rise above the heavens, and may your glory shine upon the earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. In God I trust, I shall not fear. Alleluia. The lesson is from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 51, beginning at verse 17. Wake up, wake up, get up, Jerusalem. You who drank from Yahweh's hand, the cup of divine wrath, you who drained it to the, its dregs, the cup of stupor, there is no one to guide you among all the children you bore. Among all the offspring she reared, there is not one to take you by the hand. A double portion of calamity came down upon you. Who will console you? Havoc, ruin, famine, the sword. Who will comfort you? Your children lie in a stupor at every street intersection, like antelope entrapped in a net, glutted on Yahweh's wrath, the rebuke of your God. Therefore pay attention to this, you who are wounded, you who are drunk but not with wine. Thus says your sovereign Yahweh your God, who pleads the cause of the people. Herewith I take out of your hand the cup of reeling, the chalice of my wrath. You will never drink from it again. I will put it into the hands of your tormentors, 
who have said to you, Prostrate yourself, so that you, we may walk over you. So you offered your bodies to be like the ground, to become a street for them to walk on. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and for the world. Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth and live together in your love and reveal your glory in the world. Guide the people of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation, that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others and to your honor and glory. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours and grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as Christ loves us. Comfort and heal all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. For the unemployed, especially for Brian and for Robert. For the sick, especially for Stephen Michael. For the grief-stricken, especially Joe and Dan. We commend to your mercy all who died, that your will for them may be fulfilled. Especially Dan and Joanne and Hugh and Charles and Tom and Wayne and Martin and Kevin and Philip. We pray that we may share with St. Francis and St. Clair and all your saints in your eternal kingdom. For the mercy of God community, for Joseph Gerald, Thomas Bonaventure, Donna Allen, Ronald Francis, James Bernard, Peter Christopher, Stephen Luke, William John, Donald Columba, Max Bartholomew, Todd Dunstan, Brian Daniel, Raymond Patrick, Richard Robert, Stephen Michael, William Irwin, Brian, and for all of the MGC associates. That God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, we, you have given us grace at this time, with one accord, to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.